I'm Helen Winston. I'm a senior at Millard South High School. I see you on the beat. And the beat goes to go. And this is called Monster. When they talk about you, the ones we're supposed to trust to teach and lead their voices, unison, condescending and robotic hang over us like a screen of smoke when they say that what you did was it about race. That kid whose head you drove into the floor in front of them didn't matter anyway compared to their golden boy when we talk about you. Your name drops like a heavy chain so we flinch, laugh uneasily, race to each other to be the first to express our hatred for you, how you're the sourest bile, how it to roll off of our tongues, how our stomachs clench sick like the fists you wanted to fit in the alcoves of that black kid's eyes when he dared to stand up to you, five foot four, Rosy cheeks still half your size, but stood up anyway. How you burned with that rich white boy rage to make pools of that child. It's funny. When we want to talk about how we're not racist, we say we bleed the same, but I've never bled like spatter, like downpour, like the red you spread over the hall, the kind that still stains the soles of my sneakers. We groan every time you come up. Slide forward to hear what you did this time, how you could have topped, not gonna top off when you popped off that white hot white boy rage. Nobody ever talks about those white hot white boy tears you shed after the only things left to remind us that you were human too. It is easy for us to distance ourselves from you. All we get is excuses from the administration when they say that what you did wasn't about race, but the misguided guiding hand that pushed your hand to push into that child's skull. It's easy to simplify things. My friends and I like to talk about the hulking monster that beat a black kid half his size, how the blood trailed tears through the faults and cracks of your beast hands, how you and your gruesome snarl sneered as the sun smiled fear off of your fangs, how the stars in his eyes flickered and fell into dust when his head knocked, knocked, knocked against tile. It's easy to pretend we didn't make you this way. America molded you like misshapen gods in their own image, taught you that you Pretty rich white boy, the one to keep those other boys in line. It's easy to pretend we're safe from it all in our pinnacle of white suburbia because considering you to be anything other than a monster when you did it would make it possible for us to have done it too, make it possible for us to have let the rolling punches or the bullets punched by the hammer of a gun fly and a hailstorm fly like the lies when they say it's not about race. Just an anomaly, just one big rich white boy, as if he's not the product of a country that gives boys like him free passes to beat up or shoot up all those boys like the one he tried to break in the hallway, not the same kind of monster we all know ourselves to be. We like to shove him aside because he reminds us of the evil we shove down in ourselves. We don't want to talk about race, just about how we're not racist, not a symptom of a disease. You can't cure anything without looking him in the eye. Just look at him. See his fair skin. See his pretty blue eyes. See the blood on his hands and see yourselves in his reflection.